This is a video walkthrough of onion skinning in Sprite Something. Uh, first bring up the sheet panel from the button in the lower left corner. On the iPad it says the word sheet, on the iPhone it's just a circled arrow. Now on the iPad you can move it around by touching and dragging the lighter gray bar at its top. Move that over. Uh, you can see the buttons on the left and a grid representing your whole sheet on the right. If you touch on the sheet, you can jump to that frame. Now, onion skinning shows you another frame from your sprite sheet for you to trace over. It can also be used to copy frames. Uh, there are two ways that Sprite Something lets you choose the onion skin frame. The first one is relative. We'll start on an empty frame you want to draw in and then touch the onion button once. You'll see the text at the bottom change. Touch another frame in the sheet grid and you'll see that frame lightened in the background. When you let go it selects that and no tool is now selected. Uh, you can tell which frame is the onion skin frame because it has a blue outline. Your current frame has a red outline to it. Now because we used relative, when we change frames, the onion skin frame also changes. It keeps a relative distance from the current frame to the selected onion skin frame. The second way of choosing an onion skin frame is locked. Start on an empty frame, touch the onion skin button twice, and you'll see a padlock appear on the icon. Choose your frame for tracing. Now when you change the current frame, the onion skin frame won't move. With an onion skin frame selected, you can choose the eye to hide or show the onion skin image. The button below that can be toggled to turn on and off flipping and the button to the right of that will clone the image into the current frame. Uh, if you already have pixels in the frame, the clone will not overwrite them. Onion skinning doesn't have to be limited to the current sprite sheet. Let's say you have a template animation that multiple characters use. You can use onion skinning to trace from one sprite sheet to another. So start with the sheet you want to trace from and have the first frame selected. Then touch the onion skin button once for relative. Touch the first frame of your sheet, the same frame we're currently on. Now choose your other sprite sheet or create a new one. A little hint on this, if you're creating a new one, uh, let's see, go to advanced options and turn on the duplicate from current image. You'll see it copies there. If you turn it back off, all your settings stay the same, but you start with a blank image. So now when you change frames, the onion skin frame moves with your current frame on its original sheet so you don't have to go back to the other sheet to reset your onion skin. If you have any questions or comments please contact me via Twitter at MattFox12.